bet on yourself, because the world is fake and gay. Part 4. You work 84 hours a week and need a day off. Your boss won't acknowledge. You're a no-show. Boss flips out. A non-elected government agency demands businesses push vaccines. Businesses waste time with this. Semi-sovereign people push back. Now we find out who all the tattletales are. Some are concealed very well. A small percentage of people become overemployed. It is declared safe to go back to the office. Overemployment is largely done. There is the Porsche strategy. A company is going out of business. Employees are told last minute. Bet on yourself preparing for just such an event. Professor gives you a bad grade, although your work was fine. Professor says degrees don't matter. The college wastes cash and time to run you through the mill. Your support network gaslights you, ambushes you, and pilfers you. Please don't wait on the Republican Party. Bet on yourself. POTUS 45 had his train derailed by the GOP and the deep state. Cuckservatives wanted to benefit from Trump's policies while also working against him. Influencers at all levels can lie. Hillary and Elizabeth can also play shell games in the open. Gamma and Omega orbiters ooh and ah at their intelligence. The Republican Party creatively abandoned instruction for the youth. So the Democrats were nice to the kids. Guess what happened? When Donald Trump was young, he went to Norman Vincent Peale's church. This is one big reason for Trump's successes in life. Don't let sour-faced strawman girl displace this truth. Bet on yourself. 45 and Robert Kiyosaki wrote a book together in 2007. Shitlibs had meltdowns and pee-ins on campus. Which book offers more value? Their book or a $400 textbook? Communist teachers, socialist journalists, and their rhino buddies plagiarized the Trump Kiyosaki book. Shitlibs thought, why we want you to be rich should be free. Democrats and their Republican pals claim shitlib influencers are not looters. Local agents of Agenda 2030, the Fed, the UN, and the World Economic Forum take turns dividing the coalition that is the Republican Party and even the Libertarian Party. They do this by lying, gaslighting, exploiting legal loopholes, and stonewalling the conservative base. Then the same assholes will declare, the Overton window has shifted. The legacy media and social media can sway public opinion. The elite-controlled media advises dropping all discussion of tax cuts, opening the Keystone Pipeline, the war on the traditional family, and prosecuting fraud. Do what you can do, regardless of what you hear. Mass formation psychosis is real. They'll come after you. Why? The elite want to crush outliers. Bet on yourself, regardless. Don't fall into the trap of thinking you're a mafia gangster. This is a trap. The elites decided circa 1913 that the United States would become a banana republic. Cuckservatives don't want you to know this. Have plans and backup plans for yourself and your venture. Liberals and their rhino pals love to deplatform, slander, and use lawfare. Have different ways of reaching customers and doing all aspects of your business. I was told in my youth this would happen. Cuckservatives were cool with it. Bet on yourself by being productive instead of chasing your tail for the elite's local reps. Never disclose your net worth to a survey taker or a professional. Not only do these guys need your cash, you are an outlier and must never be a threat. Never disclose you plan a few moves ahead. Always challenge the innocent bystander who conveniently suggests a globalist feminist solution. The faux right gangster can live himself for stealing, intimidating, and making false statements. These guys control certain pillars of society. There are counselors who will help them. Bet on yourself by thinking long-term, not real long-term. Don't be reactionary to short-term fake and gay crises. Bet on yourself. Be careful who you let in your home and in your head. Be careful what you sign. Church bro will bait you just like shell game playing politicians and dishonest fat businessman. You can bet on yourself without being a nuisance. Avoid counterproductive activity. Don't look at the scoreboard. Look at the field you're on. Covert persuasion and manipulation are real. Cucks denying this or ignoring us is no signal to appease the elite's local kingpin with other people's property and other people's future incomes. Don't give up control without adequate compensation. The woke mob will defraud and steal. Sometimes the scandal is legal. In conclusion, don't celebrate the accomplishments of big sis when there is rising homelessness. Your overlords won't address the real causes of homelessness. 
They'll take tax dollars and donations, though. Homelessness is a weapon used by big sis to crush outliers and to save money on jails and mental health services. Listen to all the self-serving advice the low IQ gammas and omegas repeat. Don't be a gamma orbiter. Bet on yourself.